flowers. What started at my dining room table has grown into a serious operation. That's why I chose the Spark Cash Card from Capital One. With unlimited 2% cash back on everything I buy, why wouldn't I get this card? I redeemed $115,000 in cash back in just one year, which doubled our marketing budget last summer. And I saw a 69% growth year over year. My Spark Card is more than a credit card. It's actually helped me grow my business. What's in your wallet? Tip-off presented by Rocket Mortgage. Beautiful Fort Myers, Florida is the spot. We got a good doubleheader for you this evening. It's Suncoast Credit Union Arena. First up, the Pitt Panthers out of the ACC at 4-2. And, and the 4-0 Kansas State Wildcats out of the Big 12. And we say a big hello courtside, everybody, with Bill Raftery. I'm Brandon Gordon. So we know K-State can play defense. Both teams have struggled to shoot it. What do you think? Maybe the first to 60 wins tonight? Oh, you are so nasty. It is beautiful atmosphere down here. Uh, it has been a problem for both clubs scoring, so therefore defense. And obviously rebounding, and you've got to value the best. Ball, are you going to be in deep trouble? Yeah, both of these teams sub 28% from beyond the arc, so we'll see who can knock down the shots here in the early going. Let's take a look at the starting lineup sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Push button, get mortgage. Pittsburgh, a lot of youth, no seniors in the lineup. For K State, Xavier Sneed really makes the engine go. Well, on both ends of the floor, he is key, and he makes some shots, obviously, but he's good. Steals the ball, gets two a game. Well, Xavier Sneed. 16 points, nearly six rebounds a contest, a senior from St. Louis. What an event. Later on, we'll have Northwestern and Bradley, but right now, Pittsburgh and Kansas State. And it's Brown and McCall Maywee ready to tip it up, and off we go. Brendan, how about this? I got a little shot at you. K-State goes a little. Minute, minute. And Pittsburgh, again, struggling to shoot the ball like K-State. See if they can get the rhythm early here. This is one guy that can put it up from outside, Ryan Murphy. And he thinks offense. It's all about the perimeter guys. Dribble, drive, and kick. Nice pass. Early touch inside, but Brown had it stripped, taken away. Jada, he'll run the point for K-State. Kick out the young freshman, Gordon. How about that? His first start, and he knocks down the shot. Yeah, not too bad. Shoot 28% from three. That's what Bruce said to both of us, that we are struggling deep, get open looks, not able to convert. And they've been struggling in the first half of ball games. They have not had a lead in any one of their four wins so far this season at intermission. Trying to go inside again, and another turnover. Can't feed a good defensive team like that, though. Got to value the basketball. And here is Cartier Jada. One of the experienced bets taking it right to the rim around Brown for two. How quick is he off the bounce? Pretty used to the right hand as well. So this is definitely different than what K-State saw their first four games, a 5-0 lead that they are enjoying right now. Now they can tee it up here. Tell you what, after a couple of turnovers, excuse me, Brandon, jacking it up, run some offense. Yeah, that was Trey McGowan's, a sophomore, who didn't score their last game against Pine Bluff. Here's John again, and he got fouled, hit on the left wrist. Xavier Johnson with the personal. So not a good start for Jeff Capel's crew. Second year head coach. Last year they went 14 and 19, 3 and 15 in the league, and he's got to build something in Pittsburgh. He, should, he? he needs some help from the refs too. Uh, they should have been on the pass. They finally changed it here. Uh, Jeff was right on top of it. Yeah, it's a whole new term, and he's trying to rally the troops, so to speak. The fan base is there. I mean, it's been a great home court, Peterson Center over the years. It's a matter of these kids maturing, adding some, or supplementing, particularly up front, I think is where they need a lot of help. But off to the 4-2 and two start this season, but down 5 nothing here early, and as you said, they corrected it, changed it to a foul on the floor against Johnson, and the Wildcats inbound. And the girl on the floor, too, because remember his game against Creighton, they could use him to light it up as well in the NCAA. Driving inside, Jada. No good off the side. 
Trey McGowan's 12 a game. He splits the defenders and a tie-up. Again, trying to do it in the first couple of seconds of a shot clock. So a couple of turnovers, and now the jump ball. We're going the other way. Bruce Weber, everybody knows his story. Well, he was telling us earlier, 38 years ago, he was down here for his honeymoon mm -hmm. in this neck of the woods. And it's interesting they still speak to one another. It's just helpful. <laughs> How about him describing the trip? No super highways. Traffic lights every mile. That's amazing. And he said we had to take Highway 41. There was no I-75 back then, he and his wife, Megan. From Milwaukee all the way down. Ooh. Now he flies first class. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Things have changed. Sure, big-time programs will do that for you. That foul was on Trey McGowan, so a couple early fouls on Pittsburgh here. And that'll be something to track, because those two out of the backcourt are big contributors for Jeff Capel. And Johnson has really not had an opportunity at the other end. This is a quick jacks and turnovers. McGurl slipping it inside of Maywee. The experienced post player powers it up, but he's swatted out of bounds by the youngster, Justin Champinney. Now this kid really impresses me. Maywee does anything to help his club undersized in dominating the low box area, particularly the defensive end. He's played and started in all 77 games in a Kansas State uniform. Watch the shot clock here. Trapped in the corner. Jada lost it. Now there's four to shoot. A terrific read with that ball screen. That's sort of Death Valley over there. That's a tough inbound spot right in front of that pit bench. This is that diagonal pass which occasionally you can get a steal out of. Sneed, catch and shoot. Off the mark. Maywee had it, but instead Eric Hamilton with a rebound. Early drag screen. Johnson, there he goes, but he's short with it. Hamilton saves it. Right to the rim, quick possessions. Johnson can't scoop it up. And the offense sluggish for Pitt, and there's another foul, and that's already two on Xavier Johnson, Coach. Got a little frustration foul, too. Got to give a guy room, regain position on the defensive end. But they are really jacked up, Pitt, and part of it's the defense, no question about it, of K-State. But in a rush. But that K-State defense will do that, too. Oh, absolutely. They get in there. Always in the right position. Been a calling card to Bruce Weber, of course, helped lead him to the Elite Eight a couple seasons ago before they fell to Loyola and their magical run. Here's Jada. Nice Easy. drop off. Easy lay in for Gordon. A uh, quick timeout now. No. Just a halt and play, but drive, draw, and find. And a nice little dish. How about this kid? He's got to be happy. Uh, Gordon get that opportunity to start, but watch all the blue shirts attracted. Slight of hand and finish. That's gorgeous. And this is where Jada is good in that open floor. Gets in the lane. He's got the floater. Got a feel. Good decision maker. Well, and Jada last year, 44 assists, 44 turnovers. This year, 28 and 12. Much, much better. Absolutely. This kid offense, 0 for 3 from the floor and 3 turnovers so far. Not the way you'd like to start. And they're going to run Murphy off that three-point line. He's going to have to keep himself active. Five to shoot. McGowan's wants a ball screen. But look at that defense. Champini has to hoist. No. Weak side rebound, Jada. He can push it with the best of him. He can dish it with the best of him as he finds Gordon again. Timeout, Pittsburgh. Woo! Wow. How about the field by the point guard? Jada, Jada. Jada, da, 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 da. Ooh, the ability in that open floor. We saw him drive and dish. Thread the needle, big time finish. Gordon, welcome to the party. Infinity's 30th year with 2020 edition 30 SUVs and get up to a $4,000 winter bonus on remaining 2019 models. Visit your tri-state Infinity retailer. Tis the season to mix things up in a Cadillac. 
give your comfy couch a break. Take the fireplace with you. Leave the holiday party in the past. And have a not-so-silent night with three rows of friends. So go ahead. Get 0% APR for 72 months plus $1,000 purchase allowance on a 2019 Cadillac XT4 and XT5 when you finance through GM Financial. The Fort Myers tip-off is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Push button, get mortgage. By the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. A perfect season starts on the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. And by Lucas Oil. Keep that engine alive. That's what Bill Raftery was doing earlier today. <laughs> casually uh, off the coast. Absolutely. I got a little tired. Took my nap. <laughs> No umbrella drinks early, anyhow. What a good start, though, for the Wildcats. As we mentioned, they haven't led at halftime in any game this season. The first half has really been their Achilles heel, but not so far here. I think it's an important trip. Well, out of the timeout, see if we can get a good shot. No touches low. Here's Murphy again. He's the shooter, and he does it himself there with a the mid-range. Uh, nice little maneuver with the bounce. They're going to chase him off, and he's got to have a mid-range game. The last two games, he's really struggling. Two is 17, so that's a good sign for him to knock one down. Hurley, here's Snead. Off the side of the iron. They should get a flop, no? No flop, but they are going to get a foul against K-State. Yeah, that's that new rule. I mm. thought Snead might get one there. Fading, he got nicked. We've seen quite a few of those whistled in the early part of the season. Such an emphasis this year. I wish you're getting used to that signal. They sort of like it, you know? Yeah. An entree signal. <laughs> well, I think it's good for the game, don't you? Yeah. It eliminates all that acting that we've seen come into play so much. And then the kick, you know, on yep. the three-pointer. Well, Pitt will try to string a couple baskets together on consecutive possessions. Here's Champagny, talented freshman. Now Murphy again, same thing, other side of the floor, but Champagny is down and in pain. Boy, when he kicked it off, let's hope he's okay. I mean, they can ill afford any injury to anybody. Hmm. And he's having to be helped to the bench. Really oh boy. can't put any weight on that right foot. Drum goal is out as well. And they are shorthanded. Gosh, and that's the freshman from Brooklyn that they are so high on. Had 18 points last game against Pine Bluff, but now being carried to the end of the bench. Just got twisted around. Ooh, that left foot, I guess. Oh, is that right? He twisted it a little. Oh, yeah, you're right. He went right forward. So he goes to the bench, early minutes for Abdul Kareem Koulibaly, number 12 for Pitt on the ball right now. This is where you gotta be tough with your Pitt on this defensive end. McGurl checks his feet, a little strong. Hamilton, they say he is a great rebounder, he shows it there. Uh, they need him. They also need some punch in a low box area. You're not gonna beat this team dribble drive, and that's one of the reasons. Great coordination defensively, always in the dribble lane, the passing lane. I'm amazed how tough they are to score against. Well, that's now four turnovers already for the Panthers. Was it 2005 when he was at Illinois yes. and he made the great run? Yep, Boston, North Carolina yeah. in the title game. Yeah. Darren Williams, Brown, Luther Head. Remember that amazing Elite Eight game that went over Arizona to put him in the that's Final Four. They were down big and came back. The stack. Here's Stockard off the bench, and he had it stripped. Cool to body, took it away from it. Great balance, though. Murphy, he, oh, he's always shot hunting. He's ready. <laughs> cool to body, only got the backboard outlet up ahead. Here's the other Gordon Deshaun. Who's there to tap it back? Cartier Giada. And not enough blue shirts recovering. There's two Gordons for Kansas State. Deshaun Gordon and then Antonio Gordon, who has seven points, number 11. But Bruce Weber likes them both. Uh, Sneed on Murphy. They're not letting him get a touch. Pretty high low here. And a walk. Yep, Hamilton shuffled his feet. 
They rattle you. They really get in your head. Very alert. Five turnovers now. They average just over 12 a game here in the early part of the season. A little passive three-quarter press. Make them use clock. This team is comfortable late, too. A little zone look right now, Brandon. Nice flash. That's how you beat it. They couldn't get the shot off. Jada, top of the arc. No. And into the corner, out of bounds to pin. Uh, pretty nice move here. Uh, Jeff Cable shaking it up a little. He got a score to change defenses, too. That would certainly help the cause. Jeff Capel, he knows it might take him a little while this year. As we said, they're, they're shooting sub 40% from the floor, sub 28% from behind the arc. Mm -hmm. He blames his brother for that. Yeah, right. He's the shooting coach. Yeah, he's got boy, what, a, what a great staff he's got with him and Tim O'Toole and Mylon Brown. Absolutely. All, all former all, head coaches, all right? All been successful at one time in their lives. Look at this kid guard, though. Now here's Eric Hamilton. Well, that was strong. He said he could rebound. Apparently, he can do that, too. How, how about that? Nice little two-bounce power move. 2-2-1 two, two, setup. Once again, force him to use clock. End up with a tough jack late. Little 2-3 look. And nearly got a steal out of it. Instead, it's a kick by Ryan Murphy. That's Tim O'Toole on the sideline. He has some juice, by the way. There's Jeff, longtime assistant under Mike Krzyzewski. I think he may have learned a thing or two. Uh, yeah, you think? think? Exactly. Of course, head coach back at Oklahoma, Coach Blake Griffin there, among others. And now if we can get some of Mike's players or that caliber, I should say. is knocked out of bounds. It'll stay on this side with nine to shoot. A uh, nice atmosphere right now, at least for Pitt defensively. Much more alert, more engaged. And a little 6-2 spurt since getting down 9-0. Here's Sloan. He's a junior college transfer. Offensive foul. So Pitt starting to settle in a little bit. A little two, three, a little shake up. It may not be the greatest zone, but all of a sudden you have to be more imaginative, creative on the offensive end. Here's Trey McGowan driving it on Gordon. Hamilton out to the shooter, Murphy. He's covered the corner, stripped by Sneed. One of the best to steal the ball ever in a K-State uniform gets another one. Up ahead and off the glass for Deshaun Gordon. Boy, they score off the D. You had mentioned Steed's ability. Great reactions on that end of the floor. Yeah, Gordon finishing it. Mr. Chicago led Curry High School to their first city title last year. Good player. Leading in, Audis Tony got what some room. What does that help? But then anything with the dribble drive, turn some heads. Well, there's Sneed. Well, the cold shooting from outside continues, and Gordon kind of hanging on the rim as the whistle comes in underneath. They used to do that in your heyday. Oh, yeah. Back at Harrison <laughs> High School. You betcha, Coach. Good Good action. Early going. What if they sold tires online? We do. We're TireRack.com. They could offer lots of tires and help you find the right tire. It's called the Tire Decision Guide. Oh, and they could ship them to a nearby mechanic. We shipped over 7,000 independent recommended installers. This is an amazing idea. Sorry. Right now, you can get this special offer when you buy a set of four select Continental tires. For details, go to TireRack.com slash Continental Offer. TireRack.com. The way tire buying should be. Introducing a razor that works differently. The Gillette Skin Guard, designed with a guard between the blades that helps protect skin. It guards against razor burn on the neck and irritation on the face. Get the shave you've been waiting for.
Gillette Skin Guard. K-State by a handful. First game of our double dip tonight in Fort Myers. And time to take a closer look at Kansas State and the house they built. Brought to you by Rocket Mortgage. Push button, get mortgage. You see down at the bottom, four Final Four appearances. So they almost had two in the last decade. 2010, they lost to Butler. And then a couple of years ago to Loyola in the Elite Eight. Yeah, I knew you'd bring the Butler game up. Had right? Why not? Of course, Gene Cady, a grad. Bill Guthrie's a grad. Jim Colbert, a grad. I think of the great coaches, too. Jack Hartman. I mean, Lon Kruger, by the way, was a great player there as well. And coming off a season last year where they won the Big 12 regular season, tied with Texas Tech, of course, broke that long streak by Kansas. Mm -hmm. There's an old friend of mine, Lou Chappelle, who won the Miami Heat. There's a Nets exec, a Jazz exec when they were in New Orleans. And again, coughing it up to a tough-minded defensive group. Yeah, that went on cool to Bali, just setting the illegal screen after the handoff. The zone has been effective. That belly of it is open. Once in a while you slip a guard in there, he can be creative, make a shot. This time Gordon drives. Good pass to the other block. Stocker gets fouled. Penetration on the baseline going to lead to two free throw attempts. Yeah, find that crack in the zone. Put it down. Stocker, of course, started a little bit earlier in the year. Pretty solid kid. Because yeah, they've got Montavious Murphy out indefinitely with a knee injury. So that moves Stockard into the lineup. But he was replaced today by Antonio Gordon. He got that hot start with seven points. And pretty good on the offensive glass. Attacks a little bit. And with those three seniors they lost last year, he's playing a much bigger role up to 16 minutes and six points a game. Misses the second, and that's going to be a foul on May Ween, try to get the offensive board. Yeah, not a good one either. You've got to give it up. Be conscious. They can't afford to play without him either. It's a guards game now if you look out there. And that's two on May Ween, so you mentioned they need him out there. He's going to the bench. A little full court pressure now. Some trouble getting it in, but they do find Hamilton and then get it up. To Ryan Murphy. Look at the pressure on the ball. Regain position. That is hard work. Here's Trey McGowan. Scoreless last game. He struggled in a start here. Hamilton. Offensive. Just one dribble. Too many. Great pursuit of the rim, but be cautious. Uh, willing to offer up their body. This is the trust you develop as a defensive-minded team. I got your back if you get beat. And it's making that Pittsburgh offense out of sorts here through the first nine and a half minutes. Good news for Pittsburgh. Yeah. Champagny is back on the floor. He left earlier with the ankle injury. Talent on the bench there in the medical staff. Yeah. He couldn't put any weight on that no. a moment ago. Look at that lock low. They got him for it, too. Ooh, Stocker yep. trying to clear his guy out. Big fella Brown. Oh, he's got size. They could get him some touches down on the box. And do some damage. Got a little hook game. Yeah, he does have good size, Brown. 6'10", 235, the junior. But Stockard right now going to the bench for K-State on the other side. And with the two, right? That is indeed his second. So you've got both Mayween and Stockard, a couple of those K-State bigs in foul trouble. Murphy, don't let it fly. Not a good one again. Going the other way over the top. A lot of whistles here in the first half of this game. They're making it easy for the officials, too. They're so obvious. Some rebounds you have to concede. He gets yourself back. And guess what? That's two on Audis Tony. And already in the bonus here with 10.04 to go in the half. This is usually where Pittsburgh dominates is at the free throw line, but they've already put Kansas State there as David Sloan has a one and one. Now a long way to go, too, in this half. And a 
bad looking free throw from the junior Juco transfer. Ooh, Bali has a mismatch and an automatic switch. Gotta read it. Look at the day. Jada is on him. Now he's coming outside. Yeah. Nearly a turnover and then a holding foul and that's gonna go against Antonio Gordon. But well, that's learning your teammates too. How many have confidence to bring it to their side, jam it in there. And the big guy too, you're like, cool Bali came out. Why not just post up in yeah. bed? Let him know. Because you're right, he had six inches on Jada in mm -hmm. there. Here's Sham Penny. And now McGowan's. And this is all without Johnson hanging around. They can weather this storm. McGowan's in trouble. He walks. Nobody will trash talk afterwards from Sean Williams. How about that? Sean playing pretty good defense. Just play. But this is, I just say, all without Johnson, too. I mean, they can hang tough, compete. But guys got to get free when a guy's stuck like that. About nine turnovers already, and K-State with eight points off of those nine turnovers for Pittsburgh. And they only get 12 a game. Nice. Look at this inside passing. What a block. That's the guy we were talking about, Terrell Brown. He can go up and swat it. See if they get a touchdown there. They got a mismatch. Good feed. Champagne. Well, he takes another hard fall, but he pops up okay here. Foul trouble continues. That's now two on Antonio Gordon. Yeah, they're really having their troubles again. That time not getting back, getting coordinated on the defensive end. Such a learning process at this time of year, don't you think? Yeah, well, see, you called me harsh for saying maybe first to 60 wins, but that might be the case. <laughs> well, I thought you were offended by it. <laughs> I'm used to this when I coach. <laughs> This is what I was referencing. I mean, they have been dominant at the line this year. Leading the conference over 17 makes a game. This guy gets about three free throws a game. You like it when your big guy gets the line. If he can make them, obviously. And punish the interior a little bit. You know, he's got a twin brother, Julian, that's really good. A freshman at St. John's averaging 10 points a game right now, too. Jeff Capel offered both, but only got one. Only one penny, huh? One penny. Better than none, though, right? <laughs> Once again, a 2-3. A little flash on occasion and a kick. There's the pass inside Ready. speed to Stockard. Well, they thought he traveled. Pitt gets it anyway. Nice reaction defensively. As he accrued in for the first time. Open three. And maybe Brown was open for a reason. Now up ahead too far. Stockard, he had him. Wow. Well, a little loft on that. It's the type of pass you throw. It was like a home run ball, huh? Bang. Yeah, just put a little air on yeah. there. Yeah. Instead, it's a Jada turnover. I must say, Bruce's voice is in midseason form, too, don't you think? Love it, right? It's so distinct. It is. One of the nicest guys. The, unbelievable. And a coach. Solid. His teams are... Again, Murphy can't connect. He had the two inside the arc, but his long-range shot has just been off these last couple games. So you're being guarded that deep. You've got to loosen the guy up somehow. With the dribble, give it up. Use your screens. I keep going to the middle, even though they've come up empty at the rim. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we're confident, right? <laughs> we can count. As the Akuda turned it over. Stocker, great defense. I thought that was a kick. I think it was thrown at his foot, though, in fairness. And it goes out off of Champagny. So the offense is struggling a little bit here early, but Kansas State, they like it. Pittsburgh, Jeff Capel, a little frustrated down seven. 
Verizon's important to us because we FaceTime with her grandparents all the time. When you have the best network, you want to give the best network. My mom is amazing. If I got her one of these for Christmas, she'd be freaking out. This Black Friday weekend, get up to $800 off the latest iPhone when you switch. Happy holidays from Verizon. We made USAA insurance for busy veterans like Kate. So when her car got hit, she didn't waste any time. She filed a claim on her USAA app and said, that was easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Listen to Dave, work hard and so you can't go no more. Work, 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 work. We come out here every day to get better. We outwork, yo, we outwork anybody. Get new deals all day during Amazon's Black Friday sale. Happening now. Low prices and free shipping on millions of items. K-State by seven. Apologize for the technical difficulties there before we went to break. Back here in Fort Myers, Brandon Gordon, Bill Raftery with you. And Pittsburgh continues to be frustrated on offense. Zero assists, ten turnovers. They are really struggling. I don't think there's enough ball movement, enough cutting. Some of the things we watched them practice today are non-existent because of the quick jacks. They're not really great shots, contested. But the switch to zone at least has given them some credibility. They're forcing K-State to do some things that they're unaccustomed to. And neither one is a great shooting team. Would you agree? Right. They both struggle. That's been the case. Kansas State at 41 percent. Pittsburgh under 40 percent this year. But gosh, Pittsburgh 0 of 6 from behind the arc right now. Mm -hmm. So that would suggest you get inside the arc, at least from my coaching days, yeah. right? If the numbers attack are that bad. Attack a little bit. Speaking of going inside, a little inside out. Jada, nice kick to the corner. Gordon, he's hit two from that same spot. I think they better get over and cover that back man in the 2-3 on the wing. How about the law firm of Gordon and Gordon, the two freshmen combining for 13 right now? No relation, by the way. Turning aside, a little duck in by Brown. Why walk away from it? Got stockered inside, but uh, the other end really finding whether it's inside out or a direct pass. There's just a dribble drive into cracking. Get those puppies organized. He only hit two. Three or four inches. Yeah, he's down on the block here. Six to shoot. Murphy fighting Brown, and Brown hits from straight on. A nice shot. But Murphy set it up with a good cut. Dragged a couple of guys. Pittsburgh needs more of that. A stagnant offense here this first half. McGurl. Oh, you got to hoist it again. How about that little dipsy do? And that's what happens when you can shoot the ball. You close out. The coverage is a little neglectful. The freshman for Bruce Weber is showing out right now. Murphy thought about it, but again, the defense is right there. Boy, they close out. He almost got a steal, and he slipped. Open three, and finally Ryan Murphy hits it from the outside. Well, they made him pay for the gamble. He's hurt, too. He's looking at his elbow. Another couple of days here. I'll have a sore elbow myself. <laughs> and you will be here a couple of more days. <laughs> two tonight, and then two on Wednesday. Splitting him, Jada. Circus shot, and he fell to the floor. They got numbers here if they want to take advantage. Murphy, skip. Champagne. Good rebound. That goes strong. Well, Brown, instead, he's got a double team there and a hole. I think they're looking at Snead. K State fans that have traveled not too happy about it. Well, he is so valuable, Snead, too. Silly, silly foul for him. They need him on the floor. This is first year being the guy because he played second fiddle the last couple years. Yeah, exactly. Now, scouting reports have you in the upper echelon. Bruce did a little early season begging. Yeah. 
He does have great composure. Gets his shot in. The Beckham look, huh? How about that? You like uh, that look? Yeah, I, I was going to go for it myself. Well, you thought about it. <laughs> you know, you could still do that for Wednesday if you want. I can stay on the sun a few days. <laughs> Shot up ahead, shot fake. Gordon wants two more. He's got him. Boy, this kid has really lit a fire under their offense. Mr. Chicago last year and 10 points in Fort Myers here this year in his young freshman season. Almost a steal. Well, you got to read that. That's I'll tell you what, that was nonchalant. That could have gone the other way with K-State. I was just going to say the same thing. Right. Some of these passes have been careless for Pittsburgh. Well, they're, they're more than 15 feet, too. you got to step and go, show the ball. you got to make them pay for their aggressiveness. Here's Trey McGowan. Again, he's still scoreless in the last two games, and he averages 12 a contest, but he has been harassed. Here's Brown. Second time he's been short on a three. Murphy really busy there. I like that. He's active. A tough shot. Yeah, but got himself in position. He's really been their lone bright spot offensively with seven of their 15. Here's Gordon again for the other side. No. No easy baskets, though. Early offense, just shut off. Nice pump. Well, that's how you teach it, but he couldn't knock it down. Well, Jeff Capel talked to us about, we got to beat him down the floor and get an early look at that defense recovers so quickly. Well, they challenge everything, but a great pump fake. Just got nice composure on the sideline, though. Knows what he has, knows what they have to do. Breather for Deshaun Gordon with those 10 points early. Sneed, and there's another good shot fake. Stockard blew a tire. He thought he got fouled going for it. Somebody got his arm. McGowan's inside Hamilton. Somehow spun in the traffic, but still made it. Boy, they really handled the ball screen. They trapped the ball screen. K-State then identifying the lane. Pretty play. Rattles down Sean Williams. That's the sophomore that was suspended the first three games, but knocks down his first bucket there. Bruce Weber, this team's had a slew of bad starts this year. Not tonight. Casper's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale is their best deal ever. Now you can get the award-winning mattress for 15% off. The one that over 50,000 people gave a perfect five-star rating. You've waited for this moment. Now, it's here. Casper's Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. Save 15% on any award-winning Casper mattress. Try it for 100 nights, risk-free, with free shipping and returns. Visit Casper.com today. What are we playing? The Outer Worlds. Oh, shrink them. Smaller. <laughs> shrink Ray. So funny. <laughs> Whatever you're into, discover your next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. Join now and get your first three months for $1. 
Hey, coming up at halftime, a pair of top 10 teams from the Big Ten in action. Third-ranked Michigan State getting a big test from Virginia Tech in Maui. And number 10, Ohio State hosting Kent State. So join me, Jim Jackson, and Steve Lavin at the half. Right now, Brandon and Raph, back to you. Mike, thanks very much. Here's the AP Poll Top 10 brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. The Dukies in Louisville at the top, Coach. Pretty impressive early. Tough one for Louisville last night. Got by. There's Michigan State. Kansas always up there. I think Maryland's the team. They just stuck up there all of a sudden in the top five. And the Buckeyes. Ooh. Jimmy's alma mater. Well, I'll tell you what. What they did to Villanova. Ooh, that was yeah, early. What a wake-up call. We'll love a lot better team now than they were then, but it should be a heck of a year in the Big Ten. To the points off turnovers, a continuing trend, 11 nothing in favor of K-State. Just one assist for Pittsburgh in this first half. Those ten turnovers, you can't make those mistakes against a tough They'll pull up here, get them going maybe, huh? Well, he needed it. That's his first bucket in two games. And you said it, but Xavier Johnson is sitting over there with two fouls. So Pittsburgh down a man here this first half. And then back to man again. Jada. Uh, he got caught off amongst the trees. Threw it away. Champagne. Euro step. Pretty. Up and in. How about that avoiding the charge? Very alert. And boy, did they need those open floor opportunities. Easy ones. Beat them down and ring the bell. So a little momentum out of the timeout to get back within a half dozen. And Stocker walked. That roll out, right? They love it, don't they? Players don't know you established that pivot foot, but anything on turnovers, exploit, particularly against a tough-minded K-State team. Look at this step through. Whew. Not too bad. Yeah, Sneed, the senior, thought he was going to take a charge, and the freshman just mm -hmm. right around him. Murphy keeping busy really helps this offense. Here's McGowan's. Got fouled. That open middle's giving him an opportunity to pull up then that little drive. But once again, talking about Murphy, his activity isolates one guy because they don't want to give him that jumper. They're going to try and run him off the line. And all of a sudden, McGowan's can knock down these free throws. We got a four point game. from Pendleton, South Carolina. Nickname is Trey. That's what everybody calls him. Real name is Robert, but his grandfather's Robert. His dad's Robert, so he's the third. He goes by Trey, ever has since he was a kid. Yeah, he gets to that free throw line, too. Gets five a game. Well, very important for this club. But does not hit the second one. A work in progress, Pitt is. And that guards... I think this is a big recruiting year for them. Tough shot. That was tough. Nothing but the backboard for Jada. And here goes McGowan's. Ooh. Yeah, he got caught up at nowhere to go. Nice pass. Champagne stuck with it. They had numbers there, didn't they? Three Three point game. So unbelievable. Make some mistakes. Hamilton in the area as well. 7-0 run. And the Pitt fans that have made the trip here to South Florida, they're into it. Try a putback slam. They wanted goaltending, but no call. But a kick out to McGurl, and he knocks it down. They should have. I thought so, I, too. I agree. Jeff Gables beside himself. Straight up over the cylinder and hands in the rim as well. And now five three-pointers in this first half for K-State, and that's going to be an arm bar against Xavier Steve. Second one, too. I mean, two cheapies for him. That's four different Wildcats who have picked up two personals in this half. McCullough looks like a different player. I thought he should have kept his dribble alive. He had a good left go when he kicked it. Wally Ritecki over at the scorer's table. He runs to Bursky and Dwayne Gladden, the three on the whistle. And uh, Jeff Capel is still angry about that call on yeah. the other end. Here yeah. it is. And rightfully so, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
That seems easy. I was surprised he was even going to go up and try to touch it because it was still bouncing around. They had a chance to go in on its own. And then they got the kick out and the three by McGurl, so that was a big play. Uh, Pitt really showing a lot of heart right now, though. A lot of composure. This is to play a team of this defensive capability, it takes a lot of patience. You know, you got to move the ball, move bodies, lock in. Just uh, they test you every trip, and mentally it's very difficult. I don't know what they're looking at here. Whether that's a technical for grabbing the rim. Well, but clearly, again, appeared to be goaltending. I don't think they can change you that. You can't go back no, and no. alter that now. No. Because the play continued and resulted in the three-pointer, so you can't go back and nullify that. He actually caused the ball to go out, mm. did he? Ended up working out for the Wildcats, but while he's uh, signaling over to us. Oh, the three. We were looking at the goal tenant. We'll put yeah. it up. We'll put it up once they, more, maybe. Yeah, if they we were can. asking us if that shot was a two or a three. After the goal tenant. So again, they're not looking at the goal tending. That's clearly oh. a three. Well, not to offend the officials, but they may have missed two calls. Yeah. <laughs> I love when they need me, because when I coach, they never needed me. It's a big change. He came over and just point blank at you. Was it a two or a three? If it's my team, it's a three. So the score stays as is at 30 to 24. The only thing I can think of is all three refs were looking, not at the goaltending, but the bodies underneath versus that kick-out jumper. See, a tough-minded game for Pitt like this is a bonding effect. They want to win, no question about it, but this is a growth process for this team. Learn to trust one another, know you have to hang together. Well, they're young. I mean, other rotation, seven freshmen or sophomores. Did take the foreign trip this summer, which Jeff Capel said was a big boost for him. There's a foul out near the arc. That's one of those if you don't get there in time, particularly you know, a guy that they need, McCullough. They give it to him. That's number two. Like just slide under. At some point you don't get a good angle. That's the frustration vented. Pretty fair player in his day, too. Boy, was he ever. Oh, oh, my goodness. We were talking to him earlier about those Duke teams. He was on talking about how much he learned from Grant Hill, some of the older guys. Antonio Lang, yeah. another guy. He said the program is so established, you learn more from those players sometimes than you did from the coaches. Well, they step up. It makes it easier for coaches. Well, that's something he's trying to instill at Pittsburgh here, but just year two of his tenure. Kick back. We got the big. A little late now. Shot clock late here inside of a minute. Nice cross. McGowan's high arcing. Strong rebound. Ripped down by Stocker. Excellent defense. Even to the challenge. Oops, so that lost ball. Williams gave it right back. McGowan's. Short with it. Here's Hamilton. And he gets fouled. He's been big on the glass in this first half. And I like Pitt running the floor, too. Help your partner out. Don't give up on it. The strong guy, number zero, Hamilton. Third stop for Hamilton. A couple of years at Wichita State, North Carolina, Greensboro last year, and now his final season as a Panther. A couple of NCAAs, too, right? Yep. Jeff Capel said, obviously, I love that. I mean, a veteran, a veteran who's played in big games and won in big games. So many kids with that portal now moving. Oh. Good luck keeping track of that. Oh, tough on programs. Oh. Stocker to the bench. 3,000 for him now in this first half. 
And McCall Maywean, the starting big man, he's been limited with two over there on the bench. And, and Bruce's clubs guard without fouling, so this is part of the progress early in the season. Pitt continues to hang tough. Remember, they were down double digits. Thinking of a little stop here and go the other way. They back off the pressure. Should be a last shot situation, I would think. A four and a half second differential. Got to contain the dribble. Obviously, if you don't, you get the kick out pass and the glass is big. Cartier Jada is watching that shot clock waiting. Now he gets the ball screen from McAtee. He does it himself, but it's blue champagne. Oh boy, plenty of time, too. Well, five left now. K-State gets it back. What a block by the freshman, oh, though. I like the reaction. Champagne with the pin, but as you said, Wildcats keep it. Bishop Lachlan in New York. Mark Jackson, remember that name? Oh, yeah. Now, they're probably looking to see if the shot clock should be reset here. I don't think it hit the rim. And I don't, and I don't think there was a change of possession, so no. that would mean that there would only be about one tick left on the shot clock. the toughness of Pittsburgh and that Jeff Capel's trying to instill. Well, first, let's see this. He fumbled it, sir. I think you're right. He never had it. Yeah, but they turned the shot clock yeah. off. And I think that was a mistake. Rising high, though, the 6'6 yeah. freshman from Brooklyn. Great anticipation, though. That's the toughness you're accustomed to with a pit program, though. Well, Jeff Capel said last year, after some close losses, fans were saying, hey, great job, congratulate him. He's not used to moral victories. <laughs> they were getting fat without winning. <laughs> and doing the right things at the program, too. You know, when it's renovation in the facility or giving kids things that maybe they were not accustomed to. We're talking about computers today. Mm. I don't know if they can put two on or they right now one here. Yeah, they just put one up there, which I think should be about right. Because there was about a four and a half second difference between shot and game clock when it all started. Chris Lowry there alongside Bruce, Southern Illinois coach. Yeah, he's been a great yeah. Guy for him on his staff. Went to my high school, by the way, in Evansville, Indiana. Uh -huh. Same as Calvert, Cheney, and Walter McCarty. Wow. So There you uh, go. So I screwed up the lineage. There's three other guys as famous as you. <laughs> yeah, right. I told you about my experience at Evansville, right? Yes. Blueberry Hill. Fats Domino, Fats right? Fats Domino was the uh, act at the hotel. A night you'll never forget yeah, in the River exactly. City, right? And we also learned... <laughs> So, we also lost to the Aces, too, by the way. Back when they wore the sleeves. Mm -hmm. So they're going to put one second here, and they up ticket from 5-2 to 5-3. Well, that's the lob, obviously, or a screen in lob. With that pit bench to sit down, and now McGurl will trigger it. Right underneath. Oh, they got a foul. They got a violation. Violation, okay. yeah. Now, plenty of time. Now, if I'm K-State, I pick them up a little bit. Make them use the floor. Don't let them turn and dribble. Boy, Pitt could get a basket here after being uh, down double digits. Well, absolutely. And plenty of time. Don't let the go. No, I would not let one of the guards get the basketball here. Speed dribble. They do get it in to Trey McGowan. He's going to pull. He had a couple more seconds. Plenty of time, yeah. He was a little rush. Hit an 11-3 run, though, to end the half to get within two. But Kansas State, this is the first time that they have had a lead this season at intermission. 30-28 at half. On the other side of this timeout, we will send it to Mike Hill, Steve Lavin, and Jimmy Jackson in Los Angeles. Right now, there is more private information on your phone than in your home. Your location, your messages, your heart rate after a run. 
These are private things, and they should belong to you. What if they sold tires online? We do. We're TireRack.com. They could offer lots of tires and help you find the right tire. It's called the Tire Decision Guide. Oh, and they could ship them to a nearby mechanic. We shipped over 7,000 independent recommended installers. This is an amazing idea. Sorry. Right now, you can get this special offer when you buy a set of four select Continental tires. For details, go to TireRack.com slash Continental Offer. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. No matter how much you clean, does your house still smell stuffy? That's because your home is filled with soft surfaces that trap odors and release them back into the room. So try Febreze Fabric Refresher. Febreze finds odors trapped in fabrics and cleans them away as it dries. Use Febreze every time you tidy up to keep your whole house smelling fresh air clean. Fabric Refresher even works for clothes you want to wear another day. Make Febreze part of your clean routine for whole home freshness. If you like to put work in here, here, or here. Now you get Jeep employee pricing as if you work here. At the Jeep Black Friday sales event, you pay what we pay on select models like the high-tech luxury of Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most awarded SUV ever, or other deals on the off-road capable Jeep Gladiator, and the legendary Jeep Wrangler, the most technologically advanced Wrangler ever. Move fast and take advantage of employee pricing plus at the Jeep Black Friday sales event. Jeep, there's only one. K-State with his first halftime lead of the season. Three-point shooting helping their cause. Five from nine from downtown. Antonio Gordon with one of them as K-State's up by two, 30-28 over Pitt. Mike Hill, Steve Lab, Jim Jackson hanging out with you in our L.A. studios. Pitt got back into this game, but K-State led this game by as many as 10 points thanks to taking advantage of some turnovers and, of course, the two freshmen by the name of Gordon. Yeah, it's really been a game of runs, punch and counter punch, but uh, Kansas State, because of the Gordons, have gone to work early. Antonio Gordon, as we see a good push here by Kansas State and sharing the sugar in transition, uh, just lines one up and uh, tickles the twine from distance. Again, a great push, good finish at the rim. Uh, that's early offense for K-State as they got out to that good start. Well, they got off to a good start because they've been able to knock down three point shots, and sometimes Changing the scenery helps, I think, the eyesight feel more comfortable. This is a team coming in the last three games, just shot a little bit over 22% behind the three-point line. They're five for nine mm -hmm. early in this game, and that's been kind of the difference with this Kansas State team because when you can knock down long shots, opens up driving lanes, now you can get to the basket. And Kansas State, not surprisingly, playing that great defense on the perimeter, holding mm -hmm. Pitt to 1 of 12 from long right. distance. Good counter by Pittsburgh. They're 9 of 13 inside of that three-point line. They started to find some mm -hmm. opportunities by putting on the deck and probing out higher percentage looks. And K-State, 11 points off of uh, 10 Pitt turnovers. They did in the half. Pitt did on an 11-3 run to get back into this ball game. Coming up next, highlights from around the country, including third-ranked Michigan State. Oh, my goodness. They are in trouble right now. Show you what the deficit is against Virginia Tech. Coming up. Would you rather have a battery that delivers extra life or extra power? I have the whole beach to come. Extra life. I'm going to disagree. Extra power. Extra life. Uh -uh. Extra power. Extra life. No way. Extra power. Extra life. Good news. Versus Copper Top, new Duracell Optimum can do both. Extra life in some devices, or extra power in others. Because both is better than not both. The seat. The seat sits at the center of the arena. The seat is for those who never get snowed in or washed out. Those with the urge to plow and carve and climb who prefer momentum over gravity. But this seat is not for spectators. Gladiator. 
There's just something different to a Disney movie. Pixar is everything to me. I love Moana so much. Verizon knows you love all things Disney. I think we've watched every single movie at least twice, four times. A hundred times. That's why Verizon gives you Disney Plus on us for a year. I'm so excited to see The Mandalorian. No matter which unlimited plans your families mix and match, your plan comes with classics and new originals on us. And plans start at just $35 a line. Anybody want to do it on the dark side? I will. Because the network more people rely on <laughs> gives you more. No way. Hey, don't forget, coming up at 8.30 Eastern, it's the second half of our doubleheader from Fort Myers Northwestern, taking on Bradley right here on FS1, streaming live on the Fox Sports app. Hey, our time in this game, Mike Hill hanging out with Jim Jackson and the coach Steve Lavin. Michigan State in action over in Maui, and uh, Sparty in trouble right now, taking on Virginia Tech. Let's pick it up in the second half with Tech up by one, and Naheem Ali getting the contact and the shot to fall. In transition, able to get out. That's one way you can beat the big, strong, physical Michigan State defense is out in transition. Uh, Virginia Tech up seven. Make that ten. Mm. Landers Nolly. Mm. Precise passing. Under Try five. To play. Under two minutes left now. Spartans down four. Of course, Michigan State trying to get back into it. Aaron Henry draws. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point game with just over two minutes to play. Inside 30 seconds left. Sparty down three. It's Cassius Winston. And get inside, it gets to a shot, gets by his defender, but just leaves it a little bit short. Ugh. Good defense there, too. Yeah. Moving the feet, verticality right up. Didn't give him an angle. This one just went final tech with the win over Sparty. Hey, hey, State, hey. Number 10, Ohio State. Oh, Buster, Buster Douglas is now. We saw him last week. Uh, he, mm -hmm. he goes all the Ohio State yeah, games. Yeah, you know. Okay. We got an honorary membership for him. Yeah, the Buckeye. I like the fedora. They love it. I hey, like this, this my, right this here, my DJ arena. Carton. I love DJ Carton, especially playing in my old arena, St. John's Arena. One of the best atmospheres if they can get back there to play. DJ, CJ, and EJ show. 24 17 for OSU, Georgia, Dayton. Maui Jim Maui invitation to quarterfinal. Obi Toppin right here. And Some old school isolation down low. Dayton back up down. 12 after the free throw, fellas. Yeah, using the fanny and the jump hook. Keep it in Ohio, baby. Toppin. <laughs> Making it happen. Dayton's 4-0 on the season. 25 mm. points for him. Dayton wins at 80 to 61. Cardia Diara tips it in for Kansas State. They lead it at the break. Second half. Coming up. Stick around for it. M-City is one of the first test centers for intelligent transportation. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband can help vehicles see things the human eye doesn't see to avoid accidents before they ever happen. Behold. Which one's for the TV? Uh, try this, boss. It's Amazon Fire TV Cube with Alexa voice control. It's easy. Alexa, turn on the TV. Oh, fantastic. Alexa, play the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Why can't you get a decent meal around here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Mr. Jewell, I've got a few questions. I was just doing my job. So you have no idea who might have put that package there? No, sir. Did you plant a bomb in Centennial Park? Richard, this is a capital crime here. My son is innocent. Do you have any case against me? I report the facts. You've ruined this man's life. I didn't do this. Richard Jewell, a Clint Eastwood film, rated R. Welcome back to the Fort Myers tip-off presented by Rocket Mortgage. Halftime of game number one. Just off the coast here in Fort Myers. And it is Kansas State. They led by double digits. Bit close on an 11-3 run to make it 30-28. 
So a good end of the half, but Pitt's got to pick things up with their backcourt. Of course, Xavier Johnson only played three minutes due to foul trouble, but they really struggled to get things going, these three. Uh, they need them, to, uh, obviously, for the ability to shoot the ball or put it on the deck. McGowns with four turnovers. He's got to do a better job. I thought Murphy moved without the ball great. He didn't necessarily get a, the opportunities he would like because he thinks offense, uh, but uh, did a great job providing a lift, for keeping his man busy, maybe giving some openings, particularly late for McGowan's who had a couple of opportunities. But just one assist, 10 turnovers in the first half for the Pitt Panthers. But again, that's why they needed Xavier Johnson on the floor. Last game, he had six assists, zero turnovers. He's responsible for a lot of the distribution. And the addition away is helpful because they did it without him. Now if he can come in and add to the mix, I mean, you're developing chemistry here. A bunch, as you noted, young people putting together, getting organized for a very tough ACC conference. There's going to be a lot of tough conferences this year, boys. Yeah, Big that's, 12, Big 10. Put a blanket over them. <laughs> I want you to pick your final four before you leave tonight. Oh, boy. Can we do that in game two? Oh, I need goodness. some time to marinate on oh, that, wow. Coach. Little back screen lob. And out of bounds as Champagny caught it. See, that's one of those set plays at halftime, and you've got to read it. If the pass is not there, you don't make that pass. It wasn't a good bump. Jeff Capel can just sit there with his hands folded as that's now one assist and 11 turnovers. Mm -hmm. They stay, they hit five threes in the first half, though. That was a good sign. And they struggled a little bit against the zone. Other than those corner threes, you're right. Switching these help pit. McGurl, that's a contested 15-footer, no good. Rebound ripped out of there by McGowan. And that's what they wanted. Jeff wanted to help on the glass. Let the guards rebound also. Too much dribbling here. He wants to take it himself. He had Mayween on him, and then the pass deflected out of bounds. How many passes has K-State deflected? Well, they do get in the passing lane, though. Very alert, weak side defense. So sound. Toughness about them, though, and I think that's part of Katie's relationship with Weber over the years. Hard nose. Well, their defense has been solid for quite a few seasons under Bruce Weber. That's continuing this year. Here's Johnson had it stripped. Good hands by McGurl, but he got it back, and there's his first bucket. Boy, hanging tough. Excellent defense negated by pursuit. Sophomore who was on the ACC all freshman team last year. Got a bright future. Of course, those credentials hurt you because people are prepared for you. Yeah, you're right. You're, right? you got to elevate your game a little bit. Yeah, as you said earlier, you move up the top of the scouting report. Mm -hmm. nice, nice pass. Oh, that was pretty easy flush for May Wing. Well, that's his dominant hand, but what a delivery with the left. Redshirt junior Cartier John, as I said earlier this year, coming into the game, 27 assists, 12 turnovers. Much better than his one-to-one -one ratio last year. It's because of passes like we just saw. Uh, Gord, maybe with a nice dive to the rim. Terrific catch and send it in, big fella. A nice feel. This kid is a talented backcourt mate along with Sneed. That's something that Pitt doesn't have right now, a junior feeding a senior. But K-State does have it. That's three fouls, by the way, on May Ween, so he goes to the bench here with 18.24 to go. Ooh, bad pass. Nice hustle and push. Boy, that was a push. Goodness. Oh, I think that that went off of Cartier Giada. Well, that and also the push in the backcourt. Yeah. Goodness. Watch the end of this. Watch the shove here now. I mean, <laughs> oh, goodness. But Jada definitely at the end hit it out, and K-State keeps it. Here's Docker. Well, he buried him, didn't he? And then great patience. Excellent footwork. Timing. And boy, you get buried like that under the rim. Say goodnight. One of the three St. Louis kids for Bruce Weber, along with Xavier Steed and Sean Williams. And this time... Picking it up is McGowan's able to save it into the front court. Spinning and finishing Eric Hamilton. Boy, competing. That's what they have to do. Match the energy of K-State. 
Hamilton, the only senior in that pit rotation. He's playing a strong game tonight. Giada looking for space. Casual flip over. Gordon, way strong. Better job on Starker in the low box area. Don't be in a hurry now. Let it come to you. A lot of dribbling with the kick out to Murphy. Behind the back, McGowan's. Johnson, strong finish. We're tied at 34. And McGowan's with a good job controlling the bounce, finding his partner. Little kiss. And that kiss evens this up, and Johnson's starting to find his feet after the three minutes he was limited to in the first half. Now McGurl to Stocker. Short on the 15-footer. And a foul on the floor will stay on this end. I think they may get Hamilton with this. But getting down and dirty, so important. This little loose ball play. The ability to complete the deal, hang time, a little smooch. And Hamilton now with eight points. Did just pick up his second foul as he goes to the bench. Jada, he's going to be bumped by Champigny. Well, we had a lot of whistles early in the first half, and that trend continues here at the start of the second half. We're just checking to see if the peas work. <laughs> Game one of our double dip. We'll have Bradley and Northwestern after this one. But right now, a great game between Pittsburgh and K-State. Well, you've got to be tough-minded to play in this game. There's two tough-minded guys. Bang it inside. Stockard got it back. That's the toughness you need. How about the little guy Murphy getting in there? Murph to surf. Just because he's an Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> Competing, and that's what you got to do. Match the energy level of the opponent. And K-State brings it every trip. One on the shot clock. Jada in a sneeze. Got it off. Didn't get it in. Don't be in a hurry to do it the first trip, and that's what he was doing. Yeah, a little out of sorts, Xavier Johnson. Trying to get it in a hurry. Good players, particularly point guards, the ball comes back. If you run something, it usually ends up in your hand. You need the decision maker late. There's been some learning curves for those two young sophomores, Johnson and McGowan. Now he's got to be smart, too, playing with the two. Ooh. Pin down. Sneed moving great without the ball. Jada curled it around somehow to Sneed. Sneed, remember Johnson playing with two, didn't pick up the foul. Instead, they're going to get, I believe, Champagny. I think, you're, I think you're right. Yeah, the foul on Champagny. Under 16, media timeout. Everybody needs somebody. Through the AT&T network, edge-to-edge -edge intelligence gives you the power to see every corner of your growing business. From using feedback to innovate, to introducing products faster, to managing website inventory and network bandwidth, giving you a nice big edge over your competition. That's the power of edge-to-edge -edge intelligence. Visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX at the Acura Season of Performance event going on now. <clears throat> and now, for the fun stuff. It has
has battled their way back here. Good start to the second half. Three of three from the floor to tie things up. Aggressive play. I mean, you've got to match the energy of a K-State team. Yeah, you can struggle on the offensive end, but competing, rebounding, anything loose, all those things contribute. This is a tough-minded group at K-State. Well, they felt a little slighted, picked ninth in the league preseason, and yes, they lost three huge pieces, but Xavier Sneed in particular, who was not on the preseason all-conference team, said, okay, that's a little fuel to my fire. Mm -hmm. Pretty deep conference, though. Yeah. Of course, the preseason picks uh, so meaningless, but uh, it gives you something to hang on your shoulder. One of two for Xavier Sneed. And there's always been on May Ween with those three, too. Such a big factor. Xavier Johnson handing it off to Murphy. Murphy at nine in the first half. Going to work here. Slam Justice Champagne. How about him? What a valuable contributor. He is going to be a good one. Great and anticipation. And Pittsburgh has their first lead of the night and almost a slam on the other end and a hard fall by Xavier Sneed, but he appears to be okay. What a great play. Clear out on one side. Boy, some athleticism at the rim as well. A little dribble drive. People don't pay attention. A little dive from the top. This is a tough shot, but soft enough to be completed. Number 11, big time. How about that? Nobody puts a body on him, and that's not the general D of K-State. And a kid from Brooklyn threw it down. That instant replay brought to you by the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. And now Snead on the other end, back at the line. You see just one point, and he had a moment ago, averages 16 on the season. So versatile, too. A lob into him. Look at this inside D. Gordon got it, and they'll say they're going the other way with it. Well, not a good job by Pitt defensively there. Very fortunate. Tony him a little bit of a lift defensively. Not a great three-point shooter. So Pitt now playing with their first lead of the game here. Here is Audis Tony. Thought about it. Johnson. Well, he had Murphy for a second. Murphy pulls inside and bears it. Boy, they are doing a good job with Murphy. Keeping him active and not settling for the deep three. Nice pull up mid-range. He's in double figures with 11 right at his season average. An 8-1 to one run for Pittsburgh. Here's Jada. Nice job handling that dribble exchange. Murphy's leaving the shooter. McGurl, there he is, knocks it down. That's just over help. Why would you leave? Play your own. Good teams take advantage. Second one tonight outside for McGurl, and he's 27% in his career from outside the arc, but Bruce Weber says he's much better than that, so it's good to see him knock two down. He can get it going. We've... So, Falling hard on these. Tony, they're going to call it a travel. The pit fans behind us disagree. I, I mean, vociferous, huh? And right here, Murph with that pull up, getting them organized, going left, and at the other end, Murph over helps, and you see Johnson coming in late. Can't make those kind of mistakes. They do a good job of refereeing behind us here. Oh my! Well, they let them have it after that last call, didn't they? They sure did. It's like the zoo back at the Peterson Event <laughs> Center. They got it going again, which is great to see. Three-pointer Jada. Back-to-back -back triples for K-State. Boy, that was deep, too. Not a good challenge on it. He's a tough kid to guard because he's explosive. So K-State, we talked about in the first half, coming in under 26% as a team, but they found their stroke tonight. And here's a foul on the floor. Back to that last three-pointer. Uh, just a little simple handoff. Can't get out over the top right there. Just go underneath, and he makes you pay. 
number two in the program in a tray deep. Kid from Florence, South Carolina that had a broken finger last year, set him back a little bit, but came on at the end of the year for a strong run. Of course, they were really frustrated with that opening game loss in the NCAA tournament to UC Irvine. They got upset. You've got to be ready for everybody. We talked about that today, right? Got to respect the opponent. Oh, strong rebound. That was in the four seed versus 13 seed game that they got upset last year after the great regular season, went in 25 games. All right, Gordon with that rebound really had a great first half. And here, Gordon with the carry, a little turnover. A little Allen Iverson. Yeah. AI. But they call it at this level. They do. At Georgetown, he did it pretty well, too. Yeah. <laughs> See, the points off turnover is still a big discrepancy. One of the reasons Kansas State has the lead right now. Murphy's been working hard. That jersey's fully untucked, and there he gets bumped. He's played within himself. So he's giving him a good run today. That's the third foul on Xavier Sneed, so... May Ween with three, and now Sneed with three personal. So both of those guys are on the bench for Bruce Weber. In early season two, generally they play without nicking people. Johnson with a blow by. A nice little finish, right hand, left hand side. How about that? He went away from the center, too. Good lean in. ourselves a good game in the first one of our double header. They're playing with a lot more confidence, Pitt. Stop and pop, blocked. The big arm of Terrell Brown. Activity by the big guy. Champagne, stop and pop. There's nice Brown rebound. on the glass. Wow. Wow. It. Big time reaction. Jeff Capel says, I want Terrell Brown to be more physical and play with a motor. I think that applies. <laughs> they will look at that little part of the tape. Nice help again. Doctors, yep, he walks. Uh, and that's because of Brown. Good activity, good stance, good position. At the beginning of the game, Johnson got those fouls, but now, big time, little swoops at the rim, going away from traffic, and how about the monster jam, the big fella, Beckham, light it up big time. One day delivery on millions of items with Prime. This is the family who wanted to connect and find inspiration in new places, leading them to discover we're woven together by the moments we share. Everything you need, all in one place. Expedia. Is that. Casey Diaz? Gordon Ramsay handing out samples. Seems like just an okay use of your culinary talents, dude. Yeah, it is smart guy. Almost like having a brand new iPhone, but not pairing it with AT&T. That's true, Gordon Ramsay. Eight fingers! It's not a buffet. Use the cocktail stick. Use the cocktail Sorry, stick. She... Get the most from your new iPhone on AT&T, America's fastest network for iPhones. Switch now and get up to $700 off the new iPhones. Pittsburgh by a penny. And this instant replay brought to you by the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel, and it's Justin Champigny providing it. Penny for your thoughts, but looming large with a great attack. Of course, once you dribble drive, you get everybody's attention. And just a terrific anticipation. Athleticism at its best. Eight points, four rebounds, a couple of blocks for Justin Champagny. Remember, he left for a few moments with what appeared to be a pretty yeah. bad ankle injury. I thought he was doomed for the day. 
I think sometimes the fear of it, and maybe the training room has said, don't walk on it till we look at it. But he ambled off the floor. Out of Brooklyn, NY. Tough there. Tougher than they are in Jersey. Uh, yeah, you know, no question about it. <laughs> We'd be out for the season with a little tweak on the ankle. <laughs> And Pittsburgh with the ball out of the timeout. They're yeah, playing big, too. Hamilton and Brown on the floor. We had him. Johnson. And then he had it swatted. Nifty maneuvering, but not much to show for. See, he has to learn when he's there to find somebody. All the games I've watched, so get in really deep. And this is almost a turnover going the other way if they keep it in bounds. Awkward inbound spot does find Champagny. Murphy gets the ball screen. Wants to shoot it. Really Off the mark. Never got set. Was leaning left. Just one three-pointer for Pitt. Seven made for K-State tonight. They wean back out there with three fouls. Here's Jada. And then watch him on the glass, too, on that roll. Here he is. Against two defenders up at him with the left. Yeah, they need that bang in the low post area. He can provide a big-time lift. No more is an elite defender, but this year putting in 10.7 rebounds a game, Maywean, and a couple there. That's what he does great. Shows on that ball screen. Gets back and cut. Look, he's here. He got the nickel dimer for four. Yeah, that's a big one. Ooh. Look at that coach. Still 10-38 left. He's going to have to go back to the bench. Yeah, Bruce right away. Goes Stocker, who's got three as well. And remember, Bears repeating without Montavious Murphy, one of their big bodies at 6'9", 215, out with a knee injury. And they and initially they said day to day. Now they're talking a little longer, right? A couple yeah. of weeks, maybe. Said hoping to have him back early to mid December, somewhere in that time range. Murphy dancing around. He'll just pull one man band, and it works. How about him? <laughs> uh, Talk about no fear. Uh, he's got the hands going. He's got the whole deal. And he doesn't smile when he plays. He's all business. Oh, yeah. Plays with a lot of confidence, particularly on the offensive end. He's had several stops in his college career. He's been battle-tested. Driving in. Gordon thought he got fouled offensive. Hamilton took the contact. Did a good job. I thought they slid by. and maybe a non-call, but great anticipation. And of course, Murph at the other end. His ability to handle, get him set, and elevate it up in the other end. He was there in plenty of time, but I thought that little slide by him may have prevented the call. Back and forth we go here in this second half. Johnson, boy, he loves to dribble it. Kicks out. Champetti. Brown almost kept it alive. He does a nice job flicking back. They got a mismatch if they want low. Stockard and Murphy, watch for the offensive rebound. Instead, it's Jada launching and burying. Woo! He likes that spot, doesn't he? He's getting comfortable. He's hit a few out there tonight. K-State back up in top. He is a gem, Cartier. <laughs> oh, that's well played. <laughs> so 46-44 as K-State has now knocked down eight three-pointers. Well, he was ready to jack from there. He's thinking about it. Instead, Hamilton Ahoy's. No. Nice rebound. Champagne in double figures. That's what they need. Extra effort on the glass. And one area, K-State is terrific, is sticking people and not permitting offensive rebounds. Jada playing off the basketball now. Johnson's got to be careful. Skip pass. Gordon. No, off the heel. Xavier Johnson, the sophomore from Woodbridge, Virginia. Don't be in a hurry now. Run your stuff. Screen from Brown. Splits him. 
No. More, a lot of more one-on-one -on -one from him. Again. Yeah, he had a move it around a little, move the defense, get side to side a little bit. Cartier John lost it. Here's Johnson. Tried wow. to leave it, threw it away. Got a fan dribble, saved the possession. Driving inside, shot a reverse, no, tap back, no. Gordon had a great look at it. Things are a little helter-skelter. How about the hustle by Giada? Wanted the three, left it short, outlet. Here's Hamilton. He's hammered by McGurl. And they're going to go play with two. And we'll see what they call. I know it's a hard foul. I thought of, well, the way they call them now, they're going to call a flagrant foul. And we'll see when we come back. Alexa, dim the lights. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Dad, I need your help. What have you done? Burnt the duck. That's a duck? <laughs> what do you have in that cabinet? Some spaghetti. Okay, chop up some garlic. Your mom cooked duck for me once. Did she burn it? Of course she did. Of course she did. No, it's beautiful. There you go. How do I look? Perfect. Thanks, Dad. What's his name? Dad. Alexa, hang up. Did you know even the cleanest looking cars can smell musty? That's because odors trapped in your car's soft surfaces get released and are then circulated by your AC system. To stop the cycle of odors, try Febreze Car Vent Clips. Febreze stops the circulation of musty air by trapping and eliminating lingering odor molecules for up to 30 days of fresh, clean air. Plus, they come in a range of scents, including extra light. Stop the cycle of odors in your car with Febreze Car Vent Clips. Brand power helping you buy better. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese. I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. Tip-off is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Push button, get mortgage. By the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. A perfect season starts on the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. And by Discount Tire. Coming to Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of. Beautiful evening in Fort Myers. Game one of our doubleheaders getting really good. 46 all. And before the timeout, there was a hard foul. McGurl and Hamilton, and the officials took a long look at that during the break. But I don't know. I think we're in agreement. It seemed just like a good basketball play. In Evansville, it would have been a flagrant two. <laughs> but we're going to be informed now. Hold on. He plays. Just told they're looking at two different things, right? Coach? Right, one on one end here, whether it was intentional with the slap, uh, but the other end, I like the coordination of the officials saying it's a play on, just a good hard foul. And that seems right. Yeah. That's, yeah. The girl is going up against a bigger guy in Hamilton at 6'9", 230. He just doesn't want him to get the end one. And the one thing about McGurl, he can run. I was watching practice the speed to get back. And not give up the easy one, make him pay for it. This has developed into quite a game, though. It sure is. It's fun. Well, it's meaningful. We talk about NCAA. This one counts as much as an ACC tournament game. You said that to me earlier. As the years go by, these games in November, December seem to become more and more important in March. I think people forgot in the old days. Eh, we lost that one. You know, we'll get somebody down the road. Uh, but now, with so many good teams and the decision to make the tournament by a committee, uh, these games now weigh heavily. And a good game for the grad transfer, Eric Hamilton. Short on the first. So McGurl saves a point, at least. Do you think coaches know their teams this early? I mean, you've had like five or six weeks of practice, but do you really know them? No, not like you're going to know them come February. Right. March for sure. 
especially when you've got so many young guys. I think Bruce Weber probably has a better handle than Jeff Capel, right? I, I would think our kids in February, March didn't like me and didn't get to know me. But no, I, I, I think you're right. There's more experience on the one end. Here's Sneed, active. Sneed. Yeah, he's one of the experienced ones. That's a pretty jumper. And just a nice bump by Stocker to get him free, but setting his man up big time. That is just the first field goal, though, for Xavier Sneed, the senior leader. Saddle with those three fouls, too. He yeah, fought through it, though, to hang tough. Yeah, they only down one despite just one assist on their 19 made field goals. Here's Green. the second assist. And a nice job clearing the side. They double the ball. Terrific pocket pass. Oh, that was pretty. Hamilton in double figures. They got a nickel dimer here. Johnson gets number three, right? Yeah, we've had a couple of those as we go back to that pocket pass. Isn't that pretty? Little slip. And the weak side, not alert, which is something you're not accustomed to with this K-State ball defense. Help. And just see everybody, nobody jammed, but the movement on the weak side set that up as well. And actually, they got that foul on McGowan's, and that's his oh. fourth, so he goes to the bench. Ooh. Well, they saw them sick a single one. Sneed, no. Nice job collectively, Johnson. Team rebounding, a must. And here comes Ryan Murphy. Yeah, Jeff Capel said, if we don't rebound one through five this year, it could be a long season. Uh -huh. Murphy again. No fade screen. His jersey's been untucked pretty much the entire second half. A little strong, but following it up, Champagny kept that alive. A good hustle play. Murphy was in there too, but Champagny ever alert. He's a three-point shooting. Pittsburgh, one of 16. Their mid-range game is certainly, oh, nice defense. Really solid. And that's what happens with Johnson. The more you watch, getting too deep without a decision. You agree? Yeah, and now that's the second time he's done that tonight, Coach. He's got three personal. Yeah. All right here, now there's that jump stop. And then find somebody. Yeah, we have seen that a lot. That's something he's going to have to learn as the year and his career progresses. <laughs> In the corner, step back three, Williams got it. How about that confidence? That's in a whole lot of minutes, though. Stepping up big time. Well, that's the young sophomore that was suspended the first three games of the year for a violation of team rules, but he's hit a couple of shots tonight. And they're only getting two minutes a game coming into tonight. Step back, side saddle, nylon. And he's a guy that played with Xavier Sneed in St. Louis since middle school. Calls him his big brother. <laughs> so back and forth we go. Now it's K-State by a pair. You make the defense work if you're pitched. This is one man that's made him work in Murphy, and they're going to get a foul here on Williams of K-State. They're trying to get over the top. He's pleading his case, but to no avail. Refs seldom listen. <laughs> you can plead all you want. Sometimes they act like they're listening. Uh, uh, they're going to check on something. It was he and Brown on that exchange. Uh, looking for the head bob, maybe, with the dribble. Well, we talked I mean, about that earlier. The, let's see here. Maybe a, a lock of the arms? Lock and oh, oh, my goodness. I don't know. The hook and hold that we had yeah. last year that became so prevalent in the game. It's the, the same play on. No hook and hold. And I don't think there was. No. They were intertangled, but as we take a look at this, mm -hmm. when you look at it, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you what, maybe Brown did clamp down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, well, he got away with it. And again, the accrual of Wally Ritecki, Ron Taberski, and Dwayne Gladden, and the uh, explanation right there. They've had a lot to do today. Yeah. And two competitive teams. 
particularly when you don't score easily, very tough on officials. And that's been the case tonight. Everything has been earned. The junior from Providence, Rhode Island, steps to the line. 66% coming in. Their development, theirs, meaning the big guys, particularly Brown, essential for this team to progress and have a good year. I think the guards will learn, looking at tape, we mentioned Johnson getting a little too skitterish in the lane. It's all about feeling the pulse of the game. And guys come in not as pure point guys, too, don't you think? Yeah, they're more dribble, Tom, score, right? More zone look. Now watch the interior pass and then the pocket pass baseline. Gordon thought about it. Sneed will hoist it. Hit the side of the backboard first. Here comes Johnson. A chance for him to make a better decision. Well, he says, I'll just do it myself. How about the poise, though? Balance. And a nice little spin to the tin. Much better that time for the sophomore to put Pittsburgh up two. Pretty good move here going to the zone. See, force them for a deep shot. Make sure you rebound. That's their play I love. That was great. Oh, oh. Gordon blew it. Had a point blank look and then insult to injuries. He picked up the foul. Well, that was gorgeous. Couldn't draw it up any better. But the ability at the other end, the point guard, the hopes and dreams right now, I think, are in the backcourt of this club. Nice little spin, avoid the defender. Just good self control there. And then there the miss by Deshaun Gordon after a point-blank look on a great feed. Yeah, he's going to go get a seat next to his head coach, Bruce Weber. Not happy. When you design it like that, it doesn't work. It is frustrating. And now Brown back to the line where he was a moment ago. Big guys that can make free throws certainly helps your cause. Team fouls, by the way, eight on K-State, six on Pitt right now. This will give them courage to dump it into him a little bit more, too, knowing that he can step there with a nice-looking stroke. He's got good size and physique. He added 10 pounds of muscle in the offseason, said he spent a ton of time in the weight room. But you're right, what a luxury to be able to knock down those free throws. I don't think it would work for us to spend a lot of time in the weight room and look like, I don't think we'll come out looking like that. Hey, now speak for yourself, you know. <laughs> I'm 5'10", 160, coach. You were there this morning? I, I was. was. Yeah. Little horn set. Stocker with a handoff. Here's Jada. Gordon was hot in the first half. He had seven. He's been quiet since. Jada, down to Stockard, fading. No. Oh, the other way. Yep. They're going to get Antonio Gordon, the man I was just talking about, who had the hot start and hasn't done much since. Yeah, he's in the second half, hasn't been as attuned offensively. And sometimes you just got to concede inside position. Eric Hamilton, he had, a little slow to walk back. You know, he had more gear on him yesterday. Tape. All sorts of accoutrements, so he's got a little damaged leg. And he's trying to flex it out right now. I used to do that before free throws, too. It didn't work. <laughs> the genuflecting. <laughs> Hamilton averages four, and now he's got a dozen. Well, learn how the American Cancer Society is teaming up with coaches at coachesversuscancer.com. Or .org. Go there to join the team. Hamilton with another. And talking to Jeff, he thought they got spoiled by their Florida State game. They fell asleep. Nichols took care of them. Well, this is just the continuing understanding of what you have to do on every trip. Things heating up here as the foul is called on the bump to the basket. I'll tell you what, we're going to have a good finish. It's been a good second half. Two teams that are tough 
3.54 to go at Fort Myers. Don't move a muscle. Hey, what you doing this for? Just out here for recreational purposes? No. Working, man. Mission today is to work hard until you can't go no more. It's always a team mission. Can't get nowhere without the team. It takes everybody. One, two, three. Hey, you better be open. You better be open. You better be open. Man, listen, man, listen. It's only one attitude that you gotta bring. Let's go. That you need to bring. Oh, work, 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 work. I mean, we come out here every day to get better. It was easy. I by the door, man. We work out on the street. You feel me? We the best in the nation. We outwork, yo. We outwork anybody. We always run, always getting better. Every time I come through these lines, no matter what these lines at, work. Maximum effort. All Tyson Anytizer's chicken is raised with no antibiotics ever. They're a great decision for snack time. Allowing the band to practice at your house? Not a great decision. Keep it real. Keep it Tyson Anytizers. Fasten your seatbelts. Dave and Buster's has the all-new Hot Wheels King of the Road racing game. Go full throttle and race your friends. Plus, play five of our best group games for free. Games you and your squad can gather around and play. Only at Dave and Buster's. This Thanksgiving, the Las Vegas Invitational tips off on FS1. First, Iowa taking on last season's championship runner-up, Texas Tech. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, followed by Creighton, San Diego State. Both matchups also available on the Fox Sports app. You were in Vegas the last couple of years for that, I was, you? I was. Uh, couldn't afford new clothes, baby shoes, all of those things. Foul but, trouble. Boy, unbelievable. Damn, maybe we haven't really seen him on the floor much. But the big thing with Pitt, turnovers, you know, 17 turnovers, and it's just leading to 20 points. I mean, that is devastating in a highly competitive game. Well, we showed the K-State foul trouble, but both Johnson and McGowan, the two guards for Pittsburgh, they've got four fouls right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Johnson must have gotten that last one on that ball screen. This kid's got a toughness about him. But he misses the front end. Gordon offensive board. McGurl's nice kick out. Open three. And Sneed, who is just one for nine before that shot, knocks it down. Uh, that's why you love experience. Undeterred, confident with the stroke, and a great find on the dribble drive. And they needed it. That cuts it down to three, and here's pick in the pocket. Cartier Jada takes it away, and Jada finishes. All of a sudden, right there. A couple of mistakes. Well, 18 turnovers. Not valuing the ball. Pretty competitive team, aren't they? Absolutely. And they do not go away. Tell you what, it is amped up right now. Here in Fort Myers, things are getting good. Jada, the pick, and taking it to the bucket. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next crush. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> Current qualified competitive lessees can lease this Trax for around $139 a month. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on select 2019 models when you purchase. You're so annoying. Get off me. Hey, girls, please, can you come on? Off me. Here. Just watch something or play a game. We're here? Class. Girls, in, the, in, the in the lounge. Settle down. Class. You guys want me to put a movie on for you? No, we got it. Keep busy and don't annoy Grandpa. Who's that? That's Grandma and Grandpa. I miss her. Hey, girls, just watch something. We'll just be in the kitchen. Should we take a picture? Uh huh. Thanks. Thanks. Here's a picture. It's for all of you. Hi. Uh huh, girls. Just take a picture. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Why is this? Nana fell in love. Oh, look at your hair. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Look at She's right there. Absolutely brilliant, both of you. Thank you.
Black Friday week at Sprint is truly a magical time. I turned my iPhone 6S into the new iPhone 11. It's true. Switch and trade in an iPhone 6S or newer in any condition and get the powerful new iPhone 11 for just $0 a month. Magic. Three huge rivalries coming your way Saturday on Fox. All starts with a big noon Saturday game of the week. Ohio State battling Michigan. Then it's capped off with Bedlam in primetime. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, 8 Eastern on Fox for that one. And the Fox Sports app. A big one, huh? Oh, that's that, going to be a big one. That's a big house. Yes. Have you done a game there? I'm sure yeah, you have. Unbelievable. It's incredible, right? But so is the horseshoe. And speaking of college football playoff rankings, it's going to be a fun, fun finish here going down the stretch. Speaking of fun finishes, I think we got one on tap here. I'm sure do. And fouls will play a major part, I think. Both guards for Pitt with four reach. Murphy on the floor again. He's got to keep busy. Here is Murphy. He's got 13 points. He and Hamilton with the team high with that number. Johnson. Oh, oh he threw it away. Goodness. Well, some of that decision-making that continues to really plague him. Yeah, 19 turnovers. That is very hard. And you look up at the scoreboard, it's amazing. Other than the free throws, I guess that's countered some of those difficulties. You're exactly right, because they're one of 16 from three. You mentioned the 19 turnovers, but they're still up one here. Jada mm. driving, kicking to Sneed. Sneed. Yes, well, now he's getting going. And he stepped up big time. Two big plays. On a deep one and one at the rim. A 7-0 run to put the Wildcats back on top. Oh, Johnson goodness. tried to split him, but Mike McGurl able to steal it. Splitting in traffic. He those, paid a price. Yeah, those are the head scratchers for Jeff Capel tonight. No doubt about it. Cartier Giada falling away, couldn't get it, knocked out. It'll stay on this end. Champagny last to touch it. And May Wayne right in there, too, causing a havoc. A tough shot. You force him, you got to seal the deal. 2.09 to go. A great atmosphere here in Fort Myers. As these two teams in the second half going back and forth, back and forth. Maybe he likes to bounce. Is that going to be offensive? Yes. I got it. And he's done, Coach. That's five on the call, May Wee. What a great job moving the puppies, getting the organized baseline. Fans don't like it. There's Bruce. Really a non-factor. It's all into the guards. Yeah, they wean just four points in ten minutes tonight due to foul trouble. And a great job by Hamilton, though, stretching those puppies, protecting the baseline. And usually when those officials see that arm extend like they did there, it's, it's easy. It's the offense, yeah. Bruce trying to give a little lesson to the officials. He kept the sub as long as he could, ten seconds. So Levi Stockard replaces May Wee. Inside of two minutes to go. Here's Johnson again. Champagne thought about we might have traveled. He did. No question. Now McGowan's lost it. Just a lot of one-on-one -on -one and so many turnovers. Now 21 of them. Boy, the lead guards committing. For them, some blunders that you just can't get away with. Making it easier, playing good D at the other end, forcing them into tough situations. And just time after time, in a hurry, and a five fouls to boot, insult to injury. Frustrating night for that young man as he will take a seat. So Maywean is fouled out on one side. Now McGowan's on the other as Cartier Jada goes to the line. 84% shooter. Tough kid, isn't he? Very tough. Wow. Huh? This is the front end. Murphy this time running the point. And, uh, and I, I sort of like that. Now get Johnson off the ball a little bit. Maybe he can, he can get some damage on a second touch. Here is Johnson, 10 to shoot. 
Got to make it room. Got the screen, looked up with the shot clock. Now five to go. Over to Murphy. Murphy. Wild shot, no. Rebound to Gordon. Four bad trips. Three in a row. Just not much ball movement on that end. Here we go, folks. One minute and a one-point game. Murphy's got a tough situation. Oh, almost. Johnson. They can look. Yeah, they can look. Inside of two minutes, and I think they're going to. Johnson, he was pleading right away, saying that went off a Jada. Uh, pretty aggressive play for a guy with four fouls, too. Okay. Boy, oh, boy, I think it may have been him. Good point, though. Johnson with those four fouls, but it looked like it was clean. He got yeah. all ball there. So 58-57. This is obviously a big call right now. Initially, I, I thought they got it wrong. But watch his left hand now. See? Ooh. Is there enough from that view, though, to, to change, change it? You know, yeah. that's always the thing we wonder. Because it has to be so clear and obvious. Right. Well, right now, 10 on the shot clock if, if K-State does get it back. Well, this changes the whole complexion of the yeah. game. How about this angle? You know, it's tough to tell. Yeah. I think it probably did go off of Jada. I just don't know that they're going to be able to change it. I think you're right. This is when I'm glad that we're over here exactly. and not wearing the black and white shirt, you know. Decides the outcome of the game in a way. But this game has been so back and forth in the second half. and uh, See how he well, backed off his left hand yeah. there? I think he felt he had touched it and reached again. Of course, it could be just a natural reaction. That other angle is the best one. Ooh. It does look like it's Jada's right hand, maybe, that's the last to touch it. Now, this is, as we said, obviously a huge call right now in this game. You know, I, I, you look at the numbers, though, and how Pittsburgh has turned it over in their guard play. Hard to believe that they're right there, only one point down. It's inconceivable, really. And this is interesting in a timeout. You, you actually, if we get the ball, we're going to do one thing. If they get it, there's 10. How are we going to play it? Yeah, this is where these coaches earn their money. they got to come up with both scenarios. You're right. Now the officials have looked at it, and they are discussing. Well, this means they're right sure. They're not going to yeah. change it. Okay, yep, you're, you're, you're right. Brandon. So they will keep it on this end with 10 on the shot clock. Right. Yeah, they came over here and said inconclusive. You've done enough football. A lot of inconclusives. <laughs> we got a timeout. Don't go anywhere. 48.9 to go. You're so annoying. Get off me. Hey, girls, please, can you come on? Here. Just watch something there and play a game. Here? Girls, in, the, in the lounge. In the Settle lounge. down. You guys want me to put a movie on for you? No, we got it. Keep busy and don't annoy Grandpa. Who's that? That's Grandma and Grandpa. You miss her? Hey, girls, just watch something. We'll just be in the kitchen. Can we take a picture? Uh huh. Thanks. Thanks. Here's a picture. Well, it's, it's, it's for all of you. Aha, uh -huh, girls. It just happened. What is this? Nana fell in love. Oh, look at your hair. <laughs> She's right there. Absolutely brilliant, both of you. Thank you. That's a 2015 X1, which you can now get BMW certified. It's complicated. No, it's not. BMW certified. Like new, again. Hurry in for exceptional offers through BMW Financial Services. John Tyson's motto was, when better chickens are hatched, we will hatch them. It's why all of the Tyson chicken that bears his name is raised with no antibiotics ever. Every nugget, strip, and drumstick. Keep it real. Keep it Tyson. Game 
reset. Each team, two timeouts, both in the bonus pit, double bonus. And the Panthers also have the arrow. So Kansas State's going to have it with 10 to shoot. But Pittsburgh, these last four possessions, they've had three turnovers and a bad shot. And they've got to execute better when they get this ball back. Absolutely. 24 points because of those turnovers. Big thing now, I think you've got to jump on John. I wouldn't let him get the basketball if at all possible. And Johnson's quick enough to deny the basketball. He can check out uh, the foul problems, particularly may lean out of the game. But this becomes a guards game. So dribble, drive, and kick. And that's what this kid does best, number two. Very clever. The Sneed's awaken a little bit. Yeah, Sneed has eight points, and seven of those coming here as of late. And he's the inbounder who's always very dangerous, but they got ten. As you said, 10 to shoot. Here we go in a game that's had five ties, 12 lead changes, all of them in this second half. They do get it to Jada. Jada has it knocked free, goes over to Sneed. He's going to have to put it up. No, offensive rebound. Gordon had it stripped. And it comes to Jada. And somehow through all of that, Bruce got a timeout. Oh, goodness, this is going to be. Let's see what they do on this. Some extracurricular activity. Uh, grab it onto the basketball and a fling at the end of it. I think it's just calm the nerves, go to your huddle. Absolutely. Yeah, they're not going to call anything from that, but Bruce Weber was able to get the timeout. His team has the ball. My body is truly powerful. I have the power to lower my blood sugar and A1C. Because I can still make my own insulin. And Trulicity activates my body to release it, like it's supposed to. Trulicity is for people with type 2 diabetes. It's not insulin. I take it once a week. It starts acting in my body from the first dose. Trulicity isn't for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it, you or your family have medullary thyroid cancer, or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe stomach pain. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, belly pain, and decreased appetite, which lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I have it within me to lower my A1C. Ask your doctor about Trulicity. Let your fantasies unwind at the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. Nothing. Good. Well, here's that last sequence, Coach. It got interesting. Oh, I'm, this is just incredible. A nice little layup opportunity. A great hustle at the end. A great timeout. You can call it last couple of minutes for the coach. And this is just one of those deals late. And uh, good not call, too. Just calm him down. Get him back. And that was the case. They just separated him, moved him to the benches. You got to stretch the game out now, I think. That's a change back this year that the coaches can call a timeout. Bruce Weber was happy to do so in that scrum to keep the basketball here. 16 to shoot, 35 to play. I'll tell you what, maybe one trap and then the giveaway. Trying to get it back to Jada here. Well, they're going to play out to 14. Jada drives, kicks, Sneed. Here's their leader. No. And a rebound again. Stocker, they got to give it. So the offensive glass looming large for K-State here late. And, and plenty of time, too. Depending on what happens here, what you're going to do with the other end. So that will put Stockard at the line with 23.4 to go. But again, even if he hits two, it's still a one-possession game. 83% early. Going to freeze him a little bit. Use that one. They got one left now, Pitt. So each team now with one remaining as Chef Capel wants to talk to his crew and talked about this is where the coaches earn their money. Get to set up a couple situations here depending on whether or not the free throws are made or missed. Pitt 
Kansas State at the welcome reception to our reception held at the Edison of Fort Winter Estates on the famous McGregor Boulevard here in Fort Myers. They ate together, they played giant Jenga, competed in bags, and even spirited hermit crab races that took place for these guys. Well, are you involved in that? No. You, you're going to no. too late. Well, you're, I was waiting for your video to go viral. Late activity night. But it's amazing. All the X's and O's as we take a look at the game reset, one time at each. It boils down to effort, you know, getting on the floor, just loose ball situations, and being creative. So and Kansas State struggled at the line tonight. Just two of ten. And see if Stockard can do better here. The big thing, you want to squeeze if you're pit. They've had trouble doing a good job checking out, coming down the stretch. And nobody on the line for Bruce, which means either he's afraid guys might lean over and give that offensive foul. It is pretty humid in here, and the officials have found a couple wet spots down near the lane. They're trying to get that all wiped up. And Williams the only one there. Maybe just his speed to the rim. Plus so, get, getting set up defensively, too. Yep. Being ready to play the guards. Missed it. One point game. Shot clock off Pittsburgh basketball. Here we go. They got to go quickly, too, so you get an opportunity on the glass. Ball screen turn. Johnson hanging. Finishing. Hey State does have a timeout if they want to use it, but I don't think they're going to use it. They're going to keep going. Jada. Offensive foul. Offensive indeed. We're going the other way. It was Xavier Johnson with four both ends of the floor. Uh, that's what you like when you have a little moxie. And that is some speed to move the feet to get in Jada's way. Unbelievable. Both ends, a little kiss. And then the terrific presentation defensively. A little hang. What do you think? Oh, they may go deep with one. Let's see if they run the bigs up and the guards go back. Got to get in the hands of the shooter, Murphy or Johnson. And they do get it yeah. to the sophomore, Johnson. And just over, what, less than 50, less than 60, 57%. Let's get that charge one more time. Look at the footwork, though. And you can be moving. Uh, John is trying to go, and they're going on the run. And I, I think the arm, as you called earlier, once you put that in the chest, with these officials, this is, <laughs> they've had to go uh, to the book here with some of these calls. You mentioned he struggled at the line this year, 57%, has not attempted one tonight. That's big, and this next one's going to be big. And then, of course, if you're Pittsburgh, you can you think can about give foul, a foul. Coach. Exactly. And this is, most guys say seven seconds, six seconds. But you want to make sure you don't give one in the act of shooting. Each team does have a timeout. Xavier Johnson, 11 points. Number 12 would be huge. And he calmly knocks it down, nothing but nylon, and now Jeff Capel will take the timeout. The injury to see what K-State counters with. You may pass the half court, call your timeout, and get something within reason at the other end. But how about Xavier Johnson? All the struggles we talked about. Big bucket, two big free throws. Well, that's what's amazing about talented kids. I mean, they break your heart sometimes and occasionally, but that's all the learning process. Again, combo guards, they don't think like Jason Kidd. You know, what can I do? Who am I going to get involved a little bit? It's more about I've taken people all my life. Why not to keep doing it? And after that slow start, Pittsburgh up 61-58. Remember, they trailed by double figures in the first half. Well, obviously, the ability with a gay like Cartier and Hamilton's played very well. Both ends of the floor. Defensively, we saw him pick up a charge, doing some stuff around the rim, a little pocket pass, conversion. Pretty impressive by the big fella. Yeah, he's been a big piece tonight. What a game, what a second half. So, I think, though, if you're Jeff Capel, you, you do. What are your thoughts here? I think you do commit the foul, right? Oh, I do. It's when you do it is the key. 
A big thing also, you, the ability to speed dribble. And you got a guy like Jada. I mean, he is a jet. So getting him turning towards his basket is a no-no. You got to get him face going to the baseline just to use some clock. But I agree with four seconds. You know, th this is uh, don't give an opportunity to tie. If K-State has trouble getting it in, they do have one timeout. And big on the ball, too. I like this. Well, now they're going to move him back. That gives him vision. They want everybody to sit down. Visions of Grand Hill here. Oh, boy. You're going oh, back. Oh, yeah. Now Hamilton will come out and guard Jada. Jada almost threw it away. Stockard back to Jada. Jada. Wait, there's a whistle before the shot. They're going to get a foul on the floor. Well, I think Jeff Ooh. told the refs what they were doing, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that was right on, too, wasn't it? It was that's, close. That's the danger. But in the end, it does turn out okay for K-State with 1.5 left. And Xavier Johnson, who had the big four points down the stretch, is just fouled out of the game for Jeff Capel. Well, he really did a solid job coming down the stretch. Izzy Akuda, Akuda is coming in, by the way. I've been working on that all day. Yeah, they, they just said you could call him O. <laughs> so now you probably make the first one, miss the second. Right, and try an offensive rebound. And they got the bigs underneath. Jada has not hit from the line tonight. 0 for 3. Coming into tonight, he was 11 of 13. Boy, the line has been an Achilles heel for the Wildcats. Just 2 of 11. Pittsburgh, 16 of 19. Good piece of officiating, though. Making sure, knowing that they were given a foul. So Jada does knock it down. And now Bruce Weber is going to take a timeout as the cat and mouse game continues here down the stretch in Fort Myers. And no May Ween, which would be very helpful in this situation, too. A lot of guys use a curl drill. A lot of guys anticipate, even if it's a lane violation, you might get away with it going early. So what do you tell John to shoot it high? Do you tell him to throw it hard off the rim? What I think do? What a lot of, no, I what a lot of guys have started to practice. We're going to miss it on the right or the left. And you try and hit that part of the rim. When you try and throw it real hard, it just doesn't work. Sometimes they even miss the rim uh, for a violation. So a soft little delivery on either side is what you have to do. Well, if there's a tap out, one and a half seconds, there's just not a lot of no. time. And if you're Jeff Capel, what are you saying to your team here? You better squeeze the inside people. Make sure you don't give them an opportunity to get a piece of it. What a game we've been treated to. 13 lead changes all in this second half after K-State really controlled much of the first half. Man, they're putting the seed inside. I like this. Gordon on the other side. He's strong. He's quick. Got a quick word with Wally Ritecki, the official, before getting the basketball back. Here we go. Jada tries to miss it deep, but a rebound for Champagny, and Champagny is fouled with one-tenth of a second remaining. Boy, he's done a nice job all game long. Well, he possessed that basketball, valued it. What a hard-fought game either way. Ooh. It was. I think he was trying to miss it deep. He almost made it, though. He did. He hit the back rim, yeah. He was confident. With Champigny, who, as you were alluding to, had some good moments earlier in this game. The young freshman growing up here tonight. Ten points, and now back at the line. But with one-tenth of a second, there's nothing that K-State no, no. can do. The game is over virtually. So this is icing on the proverbial cave. Boy, getting a win in this particular game is so essential. And for either team, it's devastating to lose it. 
But boy, it gives you confidence as you obviously play on Wednesday and for the rest of the season. Pitt dug an early hole, but they're able to climb out of it and win it 63 to 59. That's our final score coming up next. It's our second game of the night for the Fort Myers tip off Northwestern taking on Bradley. But for now, let's send it to Mike, Steve, and Jim in Los Angeles. Yeah, what a crazy basketball game.